don't stand for a game. Cottonmouth King just let the nuts hang. Well, it's been a fun few months. I've started a new series called Subnoise Files, where I focus on bands who have just one album on the label. And let me know who to cover next. I've done one on Wicked Wisdom so far. And you know, as far as things Subnoise or KMK related, well, you know, it's been relatively quiet. Until recently, that is. The King Click EP is up for pre-sale already, and Dropout King's kind of blowing up. Uh, so is Whitney Payton. I think they were both on The Gathering, if I'm not mistaken. Huh, I don't know. And you know, um, I think that's all nice that that's happening. It's cool to see some subnoise artists getting that kind of notoriety. King Click mentioned that they might be booking some shows soon, and D Loke himself, he, he has some shows booked. And he's saying that it's going to be a full live band and that they, they might even be doing some older tracks. And you know, we also got a music video for Every Day by the King Click. And you know, um, even though I thought it was kind of lacking or whatever. I thought it was a little revealing as well. It was cool to see this shot right here where, you know, we get all of the dudes. Well, you know, mostly all of the dudes being repped, which kind of led me to think that Johnny Richter is standing by his word and staying as mutual as possible. Then, you know, with the King Click live stream, well, that all seemed to be confirmed. They say to whatever these people, and someone said, but we hate D-Lo, right? I'm putting on, but no, we don't hate D-Lo. No, I don't know, there ain't no hate involved. It's just, it is what it is. Like, some of us just don't fuck with them, you know? That's it. Yeah, they're it no, is what I, it is. Yeah, they hate anyway, someone. Too. I, 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 I still like D-Lo, too. Judge G's still around. He's yeah. killing shit on his own, right? He's around in the mix, too. When you go to Christmas dinner, right? You go to Christmas dinner every year with your big family. There's going to be some years where... You don't get along with Uncle George over there, and then there's going to be some years where you don't get along with Ke Uncle Kevin over there, or whatever it is. But they're still your family, right? So you don't have to agree with them, you don't have to communicate with them all the time, da da da. But they're still your family, right? So hate is such a strong fucking word, and I don't think any of any of us have any of that in our heart for anybody, let alone somebody that we spent so many good years with. You know what I mean? That does a lot of other. There's a lot of other emotions that are felt, but hate ain't one of them. That's right. Hate ain't one of them. That's right. And I figured at this point, d was staying kind of amicable as well. You know, I mean, uh, PTB Records is, you know, still like a sub noise or a zinger partnership at least, whatever. But I mean, I figured if d was going to say anything in response to the quote unquote shade thrown his way via the We Want It All track, you know, well, um, I figured he would have replied by now. Right? Even d alluded to being cool with the King Click and, you know, he, he asked fans in, in the, on his past live streams to support everybody and so, to support what everyone is doing. But you know, d I love the guy, but I mean, then to my surprise, d kind of touched on all of this in his own live stream. It's a new time in the Cottonmouth camp. We've been doing this shit for 25 years. And there's no time to stop now. So if you don't want to rep Cottonmouth Kings and you ain't down with the way it uh, turned out at the end, um, well then don't. And I can't, I'm sorry it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be. But if you still believe in the message, the music, the lifestyle, what we accomplished, um, all the hard work we've put in, and this Cottonmouth King shit ain't never gonna stop. And ain't no one person gonna stop it just because they can't get their shit together. You know what I'm saying? I let no one bring it down. Everybody was in the same boat in Cottonmouth King's camp. Everybody was in the same bus. Everybody rode, rode together. Only the strong survive in this game of life, in this music industry. Sometimes it can rip you apart you can lie to, you can be cheated on, you can be ripped off, you can be stolen from, all that shit. Only the strong survive, remember that. You'll see at the very end who the strong ones are, where they're at, what they've done with themselves and who they become. You get what you give, your destiny is your choice.
You choose the path you walk. So make sure you make the right decisions. It sucks that it's not the same and, and all the other members are ain't in it no more, but that can't be changed. That can't be brought back. All we can do now is continue to build and save the legacy of the Cottonmouth Kings. Or we can just call it quits and say, fuck it. Let's just don't do anything for Cottonmouth. Let's don't talk about it. Let's don't represent it with no music. Let's don't do any of that stuff. All the members in the band still eat off that music. They still get checks from those old recordings and those old songs they've done years ago. Those checks will never stop coming in. Those are royalty checks people get when they do music. And um, they get those checks, other members that were in the group. And people don't realize if you stop pushing and stop fighting for the present and the future and keep building that motor and keep turning those engines and those wheels, it's going to continue to grow and move forward and it's going to continue to produce. But as soon as you stop growing the new and pushing forward with the new, coming up with new ideas and pushing the engine in the in the vehicle forward once you stop doing that all the old stuff you've done and built slows down so if you don't feed the if you don't feed the vehicle with new gas it's not going to drive if you just plan on living off the old stuff for the rest of your life that's going to slow down so you got to feed the beast feed the beast when you continue to push the new, it builds the old and helps the old grow, keeps it active, keeps people interested. As soon as you stop, it's gone. The dream's over. There ain't nothing left. No one's talking about it. It's, it's bye-bye. No energy's put into it. And that's not the way we're rolling around here in Carmel Camp. Got a lot of passion in Carmel Kings. You know, um, and everybody has a different drive in Cottonmouth Kings, and everybody has a different passion. Uh, some some people's drive might be more than others. You get what you give. And we can let none of that shit stop us. So, all the real Cottonmouth Kings out there that are believing in the music, the message, that are staying strong, because that's what we doing. Come out to the shows and come rock with us, the live band. When I say us, I mean a live band. Come rock with me in a live band. We're going to put on a live show. We're going to be up there rapping on some bullshit, jumping around on the mics, acting like we're doing something. I suppose we'll see what happens next. I, for one, don't see any parties staying too quiet anymore. Not nowadays. And, you know, I think if any more cards are thrown on the table, then we're going to see a further separation. Damn it. What we need is for people to be coming together. <laughs> I hope that behind the scenes, you know, maybe there's some things that are happening out of context or I don't know. I'm still trying to stay as mutual as possible here. And I hope both groups make it out just fine. If anybody wants to donate funds to get my ass to Hollywood, to the whiskey show to catch d KMK 25th anniversary reunion or whatever he's doing, please donate here <laughs> let me know um, also the links to donate will be in the description one other thing i have to mention here is how d -Loke ended his live stream all the true kings and queens fucking stand up fight attack get my back watch the crown hold the shit down for the legacy we built all that shit yeah that's a far cry from asking everyone to be supportive all around <laughs> God, I wonder what Zinger thinks about all this. Stay tuned to the channel for more KMK Chronicles and Subnoise Files. And be sure to join us for all the random KMK Hangout live streams I do. Those are a lot of fun. This one's for you, d -Loke and King Click, respectively. Come on, fellas. We all want you to, to come around and, and, and get, get your shit straight. Come on, guys.
see you soon.